When sunlight hits raindrops, they act as a prism and form a rainbow. When sunlight hits raindrops, they act as a prism and form a rainbow. Most people don't realize that the price of a headset doesn't always dictate the quality of sound that you'll get with the microphone. Someone might have a $30 headset and tell me that it sounds much more natural than that $300 headset. But here's the truth. When noise suppression technology is added with any microphone, it's gonna sound a bit less natural and more processed for the benefit of being heard clearly when there's unwanted background noises. And that's a good thing if you're in noisy environments. The person on the other end doesn't care how natural your voice sounds. They care about if they can actually hear you. Every time we post one of our mic test videos or a review with the mic test, there's always someone in the comments who says, my $30 headset sounds way better than that $300 headset. And what you're really hearing isn't better quality, it's just less processing. Noise canceling microphones are built to, you guessed it, block out background noise, like dogs barking, coworkers talking, kids running around you making noise while you're working from and so on. But they can only do that when they add microphone noise cancellation, which comes at a slight sacrifice to the most natural voice quality for the benefit of being heard clearly when there's background noise. So yeah, a headset with a noise canceling microphone may not give you that studio natural voice quality that you would ideally like, but it keeps the focus on your voice and not the noises going on around you. Think of it like prescription eyeglasses. You're not wearing eyeglasses to see the world around you more natural. You're wearing eyeglasses so you can actually see. Noise canceling microphones are exactly the same. They cut out what's distracting so callers can focus on your voice. We're gonna share a clip here with you with a headset that doesn't have microphone noise cancellation or not very good versus a headset with a very good noise canceling microphone. And you tell us which one would be more productive when having a caller meeting. When sunlight hits raindrops, they act as a prism and form a rainbow. The rainbow splits white light into many colors, shaping a high arch with ends beyond the horizon. When sunlight hits raindrops, they act as a prism and form a rainbow. The rainbow splits white light into many colors, shaping a high arch with ends beyond the horizon. When sunlight hits raindrops, they act as a prism and form a rainbow. The rainbow splits white light into many colors, shaping a high arch with ends beyond the horizon. When sunlight hits raindrops, they act as a prism and form a rainbow. The rainbow splits white light into many colors, shaping a high arch with ends beyond the horizon. Now that you heard the differences in my quality, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Would you prefer a headset with a noise canceling microphone that is a bit more processed for your voice quality at the benefit of reducing background noise? Or would you rather have a microphone that's more natural but doesn't block out any of the background noise? Price doesn't automatically mean better voice quality. When you're investing in a higher end headset, there's more considerations to think about. What you're really paying for is a better overall experience for comfort, quality, clarity, noise suppression, and many other nuances like a wired or wireless headset. So simply because you pay more doesn't strictly mean that the voice quality is gonna be better than a different headset. A $30 headset may sound great in your quiet work environment, but the second you step in an area where there's background noise, you may wish that you had one of those microphones that are more processed. So if you're someone that wants the most natural voice quality, get yourself a headset without noise suppression built into a microphone. Just know that the callers on the other end are gonna hear all of the background noise. But if you're someone that wants a headset to be a bit more dynamic to work in quiet and loud environments, Get yourself a headset with a good noise canceling microphone. They're all not created equal, so it's important which headset you choose to get the best performance. It's not about sounding better, it's about actually being heard better. Because the best headset isn't the one that sounds perfect to you, it's what sounds best to people on the other end. If you're someone comparing headsets and you wanna know which one's best for you, contact us today and we'll provide you with a tailored headset recommendation to save you a ton of time and hassle. Think of us like a human chat GPT for headsets, but instead of talking to a bot, you'll talk with fellow humans who are extremely knowledgeable in this area, and we have decades of experience helping customers just like you in your same exact scenario. That's it for this video. If you found it helpful, give it a like. Consider subscribing to our YouTube channel for more videos like this in the future. And if you have any questions, drop that in the comments and we'll answer back.